I'm going to talk about our article in this video briefly. The name is The Threat of Carbapenem Resistant Gram-Negative Bacteria in the Middle East Region. First, we want to know about the mechanism of resistance to carbapenems. That one of the most important is the enzyme carbapenemase. It stimulates other enzymes that degrade antibiotic structure like penicillinase or beta-lactamase, but it not only degrades carbapenem structure, but also a broad spectrum of beta-lactams. The classification of carbapenemase according to AMRCAS is seen in here. This picture clarifies the presence of resistant genes on plasmids or chromosome. Also, other mechanisms of resistance to carbapenems are illustrated. That is, change in purines, so not to let carbapenems into the bacilli, and a flux pumps that throw the carbapenems out of the cells, and finally, the production of carbapenemase. How can we recognize the strains resistant to carbapenems? First, this diffusion, like any other antibiotics, but it is not accurate enough for carbapenems, and minimum inhibitory concentration, or MIC, should be determined. Second, we can use enzymatic reactions. For example, EDTA is an agent that can react with metals like zinc, so it can recognize MBL. It is called phenotypic methods. And finally, we can use PCR the most expensive method to detect the genes responsible for mutated purines or pumps or enzymes and it is called genotypic methods. In our review article, we have collected the results of 97 articles that have reported the resistance to carbapenems in Iran according to these three methods. Some studies have reported resistance according to this diffusion, and a few have reported MIC2. And the range of MIC was 0.5 to 240 microgram per milliliter, that the highest one is for a study in Kashan in 2012. Studies that had used enzymatic reactions used mostly modified Hodge tests for detection of KPC and combination disk tests for detection of MBL. In this category, one study in three hospitals in Tehran in 2013 reported that 95% of strains were resistant to carbapenems and almost all were MBL producers. That is concerning. The studies that have used genotyping methods mostly reported oxotype genes that the highest presence of genes were mostly related to intensive care unit samples. Some studies had used both phenotypic and genotyping methods. This picture illustrated the percent of resistant strains according to this diffusion versus the percent of resistant strain according to resistant genes. This study has some limitations that are seen in this picture. 